Hello everyone, just here to make a quick short little video on teaching you how to change the color of a game object when you click on it. Alright, so I'll just show you my example here. We press this play button, and here we have the beautiful sphere. When you click on it, it changes colors. If you want to know how to press the start button to change different scenes, you can check out my other video. I will post the link in the description for you. So here's what we're going to do is we go to whatever scene, make sure you're on the right one. Uh, in my last video, I wasn't, I did redo all this. So anyway, let's create a new object. Let's do a, uh, let's do a cylinder. Why not, right? Because we're awesome like that. And let's get it, uh, oh gosh. All right, get it closer. All right there, perfect. We'll save, and so here's what we're going to do, is we're going to next create a new script. I've been using C Sharp. You can use whatever you want, though. I'm sure you could figure it out. If you use JavaScript, color changing, changing sil. Let's just do that. Huh. Perfect. All right, we're going to move this into our scripts folder, maybe. Now, oh man, sorry. Uh, little, right. little, little tiny error, no big deal. Oh gosh, maybe. All right, finally did that. Holy cow! All right, so let's open that up. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go, and if you want to just copy this code straight up, go for it. Otherwise, keep on rock watching. I'm just going to copy it over straight to here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it and change the name of the class to color changing sill. Control S, save that puppy. Delete that. Obviously, we don't need that. All right. Next up, we're going to go back to our unity editor. We're going to go to the cylinder and we're going to take our script that we just created actually and we're going to drag it to our game object. So this is going to be attached to it. And we're going to go as you can see our script here materials. How many materials do we want? Well, how many do we feel like having? All right, looks like we got 5. So let's do 5 and press enter. And magically, all these empty material elements will pop out of nowhere. We go, we just put them all in there, just like that. Rend, well, what are we rendering? We're rendering the cylinder. I mean, you could have it where you're pressing on the cylinder and the sphere is changing colors if you feel like it, I guess. Uh, it's up to you. It's your game. You're in control, right? All right, so let's go back to... Well, actually, you know what? Let's save it and let's check it out. Let's see what happens. Boom. Rainbow cylinder. Okay, this one works too. Boom, 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 boom. Awesome. So, basically where I got all this from was the render material uh, Unity documentation website. I can post that up as well. Um, this one is actually kind of cool. Uh, if you want to check it out, I definitely recommend it. This will basically change the color of your game object every 0.33 seconds, or you can, you know, set it to however long you want it to wait before it changes color. Um, so yeah, definitely check that out. What it, this code is doing is you're setting, as you see in here, materials, the size of the array of how many different colors you want. What are we rendering? We're rendering the sphere or the cylinder or whatever you want doesn't matter um, definitely uh, mess around with this uh, it's kind of hard to make for me to explain what this why I have it set at one at first instead of zero but basically by experimenting I found out that if it's at one you don't have to press the ball or the cylinder or whatever twice before it changes to the next color at first um, 
this stuff, ren, get component render, ren.enables equal true. I found out you don't actually need the code, but it does um, stop an error from popping up, but it still works even without this, but I guess if you don't like errors like I do, just keep it in there. Um, so here we're using on mouse down, which is an in internal uh, method of Unity, which allows you to detect if the mouse is pressed down. So on our pressing down of the mouse, we check if the materials dot length equals zero. If that's true, so if we don't have any materials attached to the object, then we return nothing. Um, here we're checking, okay, if the input of the mouse is zero, which is the left mouse trigger. Uh, I think one is the middle and two is the right. Uh, I might be wrong on that, but um, anyway, once that is pressed, the we will cycle through to the next index, and then if which is the next color, obviously. Uh, then we check, okay, if the index is the same length of the materials, the array, material array, plus one, then we just set the index back to one, so. Okay, you can see here, I obviously have a debugging. I'm just checking how many indexes are in there. So we're at one, okay, one, two, three, and then here, it would have been 4, which is the amount of materials plus 1. But since we have this if statement in here, it just sets it back to 1. And then this just allows you to the ren shared material equals materials index minus 1. Okay. That is setting. Okay, we're getting back to when we click it we're setting the index right but uh, the material location is actually one back from that so uh, basically we're just setting the material in order so we're actually going in order of the elements we have listed here um, so yeah I hope if you guys were trying to figure that out that this helps you uh, somehow and I definitely recommend messing around with this, doing whatever you want. It's your game. So feel free to comment, like, subscribe. I don't care. Uh, anyway, I hope this helps you out. And so have fun and happy programming. Thanks for watching.